If at first you don't succeed, re-record. Sorry, my grandmother had called me upstairs and I was in the middle of a freaking recording and it pissed me off. Anyway, um, I actually wanted to do a review today and there's going to be more, a couple more videos uploaded as I'm getting ready for the rest of the night. I finally saw The Book of Eli and uh, I saw it on HBO and I promised Sean that I would do this, uh, this uh, uh, movie review. So, Sean, this is all for you. I'm going to put a link in the description in the description, and here as well to Sean BTV. There it is, right there. So click on that if you can. Okay. Um, and um, so I decided that this would be it. Um, uh, I love the movie. It's, it's post-apocalyptic kind of film in, in the United States. There had been a sudden flashbang. Uh, on the earth, and everyone is either blind, or they were they protected themselves. And the world itself is this barren, dark, gray place, and it it's become very religious. And apparently, there's a war. Um, and the whole premise of this is that there's this man that is uh, Eli himself is coveting this book, this one book, and he you know, there's no religion, by the way in the United States anymore because in this movie which is very weird to me because you don't see anyone praying and he and you see certain little subtle subtle nuances in the movie about he's the only one that is a very religious man now, I'm not gonna give too much away but this book is um it, it, it's very um it, it like I said it's very coveted I loved it because I'm, I'm a I'm a born again as most of you guys know and it, it it's it's a really religious movie and it's amazing the the cinematography of it was shot at least about ninety five percent of the movie was shot using a grayscale I believe I'm not necessarily sure uh, you, you had very dark intense colors and there was scenes of rape and there were scenes of um of highway robbery of what it'd be like if the world did not have fuels or anything else and it was it it scared me because, let's be honest, anything could happen to us. And with the way our world is, no one's going to help us if it was something happened to just the United States. Yeah. Speaking of which, speaking of that, watch Jericho and you'll understand that meaning. So there. Um, the cast is amazing. You have Denzel Washington who plays Eli. Gary Oldman who plays um, Carnegie. You have Mila Kunis who plays Solara. Solara. You have Jennifer Beals, who, if anyone's seen Flashdance, knows who she is. Who also was in The L Word, um, who plays a blind woman. Like, this cast is amazing. A lot of the people in this town that, uh, that is run by Carnegie, are m majority of them are illiterate. And there's n and he's just like this king of the town, you could say. It's, it's almost like some sort of monarchy. Um, the twist at the end of the movie is insane. It is, I'm not giving it away because you need to see this movie. Yeah, I give it a 10 because this whole, it was, I understand why Spill.com didn't get, get the premise of the movie and didn't understand why it dragged on the way that it did. It, I, I'll admit it did drag on a little bit, like an hour and a half extra, but the meaning behind it is beautiful. And, um you know, if you have faith, this is a movie that you can really respect the faith that you have, no matter what it is. Uh, I was very surprised with Mila Kunis's character. I wasn't expecting someone so sort of meek, but yet strong and tough at the same time, but shy and scared, because Carnegie rules with an iron fist. It was something I... I was very much impressed with her. I wasn't expecting her to be so good. I'm not saying she was excellent, but she was very good in the role. Jennifer Beals blew my fucking mind away, but that woman can act her fucking ass off for no reason. Give her anything and she'll work it to a T. She's amazing. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and say that, oh, she doesn't know, she can't act out of her ass. No, because she can. Uh, Jennifer Beals is such a a, I'm, and I'm so used to seeing her not play a straight role. I'm used to her playing a gay role. That's the only thing. I've never seen Flashdance. I'm not going to lie. I've never seen it. But I will see it. I will. But to see her 
a player role being in, sort of intimate with a man is kind of weird for me. I, it it was weird. Um, my favorite scene and um is with the old couple, and you guys will get a kick out of that. You you will get a kick out of it. Um, it, it's actually a really great film. Uh, I give it a ten out of ten. Um, uh, the direction was amazing, and uh, um, honestly, between the writing, the direction, the film, how how it was shot, from this dark, desolate thing to the end, where there actually becomes more brightness, you see flowers and all the stuff. That you need to see this movie. Anyone in their right fucking mind who wants to see a good movie and who's open-minded to ideas of what a good movie should be, rent this flick. I'm serious. Redbox it, Netflix it, pay-per-view it. Hell, go to Blockbuster if that place is even open. I mean, seriously? There, uh, there's... I can't say anything bad about this movie. Please go see it. Please, please, please. I'm out for now. I gotta go get ready for karaoke. Peace, guys. Friday night!